um, for that top one, there's three little things that we want to make sure we go back over. Remember our position, axis of t, velocity, v sub t, or that's the same thing as x prime of t. And then the last one is acceleration. And we'll use a sub t, or that's also v, v prime of t, or x double prime of t. Just remember, guys, position is basically going to um, be where a, um, where a particle is going to be along the, uh, along the x-axis. So I don't want you guys to write this down on your sheet. Because if you guys remember, um, I think one of the confusing portions when we're dealing with position is position is talking about you know position, where something lies along the x-axis at a given time. And one thing that we'll be looking at, again, um, more, more closely into next class period, but we'll take a look at it a little bit this year class period, is looking at different like um, velocity or position graph and so forth. Just remember, position is where something is located along the x-axis. That is something you guys have been very familiar with as far as position graphs. But once we get into velocity graphs, um, therefore now what we're looking is is how thing, how the position is changing, right? The velocity is that basically that derivative of the position, how things are, um, how it's changing. changing at a given time t as well as direction. So this is something we've also already talked about, guys. But remember, when, direction, um, when velocity is going to be positive, we'll say that the um, particle is going to be moving to the right, or it could also be moving up. And if the velocity is negative, that means it's moving to the left or moving down. So velocity tells us a couple things. It tells us how something is changing but it also tells us a little bit of direction as well. And the last thing is the acceleration, which basically tells us how fast the velocity is changing. And at a time t, as well as the sign indicates if it's increasing as or decreasing. Um, so remember, basically, you're just looking at these as derivatives. You have your position, something lies along the x-axis, velocity is the change in the position, and then acceleration is going to be the change in the velocity. Okay? So those are your three little notes that you have. That will help you guys um, as far as fill out questions one through nine. And then what we're going to